So here is Tamil Nadu. I'll start with uh, the vote share numbers first. So the NDA uh, projected to be 15% vote share. The India Alliance from 53 to 47. This is largely the DMK and the Congress and some of their smaller allies. Now you've got the AI DMK in the others. Uh, which is now expected, the others together are expected to be 38%. Let's look at seats, yes. So then a lot many smaller groups are there who are not yet aligned. So we do not know which side will they be in. So a lot of this. AIA DMK on its own is hardly about 30% at this point of time. So 8% are the others, 30% is the AIA DMK. Okay, here is the conversion into seats. Now, again, the second state where there is some good news for the opposition alliance because like in Telangana, this time of course is the India alliance. They had 38 seats the last time, <coughs> expected to go up to 39 this time. The BJP, while it may gain vote share, not expected to win seats in Tamil Nadu. And the AIDMK had just one seat, that too could come down to zero. So Tamil Nadu looking strong. Does the DMK stay fully with the Congress? Or could there be a twist in the tail there also? I think, Rahul, I'll be very surprised given the statements that Stalin has made at the moment that he will also switch sides. There's the ED factor that our friend uh, Rashid Kidwai mentioned. Yes, there are a number of uh, DMK ministers under the ED scanner. But I find it difficult to believe that it will happen before the election. What happens post-elections, we don't know. If the Congress completely collapses, many of these allies of the Congress today could go in different directions. But I think there's a general sense, and the poll may well bear it out, Yashwan, that these, this is the one state where the Prime Minister's popularity is much less than it is nationally, even though he's made the effort uh, repeatedly to go to Tamil Nadu to identify himself with Tamil culture, the Sengal, uh, when the new parliament was inaugurated. So the BJP, as always, continues to see Tamil Nadu as this sort of bridge too far, which they want to one day uh, conquer. But no, look at the effort I, he makes the, with the Kashi Tamil Sangam. Yeah, but I, my sense is the AI DMK's collapse over the years That's right. has, has only consolidated the DMK and has put the BJP in a difficult position. Do we try and occupy the opposition space or do we tie up with the DMK? Yes, and the BJP? Either ways, you know, the vote share increase is not going to result in the seat conversion. So is there a vote share increase substantially? Yeah, uh, yeah. It's, a, it's a vote share increase substantially. It could be further because, as I said, many of those smaller splinter parties might still go this way, that way, or the NDV. We do not know. No, is uh, the BJP I, gaining or is the AI DMK gaining this plus it's 3%? The, it's the BJP gaining. AI DMK is not uh, is going down and down and down all the way. And by the way, AI DMK is counted in others in this uh, calculation. It's not in counted in the NDA vote share for that. Uh, yeah. now, Raj, where do you therefore see the DMK being? You know, if these numbers hold, the DMK will presumably be, if not the second largest party, certainly the third largest party once again. Does the DMK remain where it is with all the ED pressures that we are we speak about? Other allies are slowly drifting away from the India Alliance? Or is there, you believe, a chemistry with Rahul Gandhi and the Congress that Stalin intends to cement? I think you have to look at what he gains. If it's only the ED that is putting pressure uh, and how deep that pressure is, one has to look at. But funding, yeah, but fundamentally Tamil Nadu doesn't believe in this one nation, one party, one nation, one language. So there's been that protest going on from the 60s. The more the BJP tries to emphasize all these uh, things, and let's not forget uh, Prime Minister Modi had, you know, as part of the temple run, went right down to Tamil Nadu and done, did two, right. two temples out there to assure them that, look, the, we care as much, uh, not just of, uh, of the Ram Mandir, but all your uh, tradition and culture. Okay, let's turn then to the final state uh, in our southern uh, sojourn, which is the lovely state of Kerala that often marches to its own beat. Take a look first at vote share. If elections are held in 2024, what happens in Kerala is the UDF, that's the Congress-led front, 46% vote share, LDF 32%, 14% back, NDA 17, others 5. How is this translating into seats? Well, it's virtually a repeat of 2019. Once again, a clear sweep for the Congress-led UDF. The best news for the Congress so far, apart from Telangana, is coming from Kerala. 18 to the UDF. Just two to the LDA. But remember, both are part of the India alliance. GVL Narsima Rao is now with us. GVL, the BJP was trying very hard to, on its own through the RSS to win something in Kerala. 
Yashwan's data suggests it's a bridge too far for this election. No, I, I think uh, we are very confident of winning some seats. I will not say we'll be a big force in this election because Kerala doesn't, uh, uh, election to election, the swing is not more than 2% or 3%. Kerala is a, is a state that moves very slowly. But certainly in this election, we will. We are confident of and winning. What about Andhra Pradesh, seats. where the Home Minister and Nadaji met, both with uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, also meeting with uh, Jagan Reddy? What's cooking there? I, I think these are political meetings that happen during election time. Did Rahul Gandhi escape from the reality of trying to rebuild and revive his party in UP by going to a, a Kerala? Is that a mistake? Or is, is this a pragmatic decision to stay on in the Lok Sabha? Who wants was, to go? I think it was a pragmatic decision and Rahul is very comfortable. If you see his, uh, you know, even Bharat Jodo Yatra in Kerala, whatever he was doing, talking, you know, indulging in all kind of activities and all, he was very comfortable. He was what he is. So but you can't win India by becoming the Prime Minister of Kerala. To, to, you know, to, to take off from what was just said. That you've got to, instead of investing in rebuilding the party in the north, you're, you're building your base in why not where your principal opponent is your India ally, the left. I think yes, but these are not easy decisions. It's like, you know, Prime Minister uh, Narendra Modi contesting from Tamil Nadu. I don't think so. I, I don't think Prime Minister Modi believes or his party believes in any kind of bravado. Uh, uh, Rahul Varma, you agree that Rahul Gandhi did the right thing by picking why not? Uh, depends on what the right thing means, right? Like if the right <laughs> thing is just about uh, uh, getting a Lok Sabha seat, perhaps, yes. If he thinks he can revive or, or uh, make the party very, very strong in South, that's also right, as Rashid is saying that uh, in Southern India and, and even this poll is saying that Congress is actually gaining in South. If no, no remember, not in South, only in Kerala. Where no, in the in South? In Karnataka, BJP is doing in well. In Andhra Pradesh, no, in the TDP and the YSRC. In Telangana, PLA. Congress is doing well in alliance with uh, DMK. In Tamil Nadu, they would do well. So, so in that sense, it's not a bad decision. I think should he look towards South as well as build the party in North? That's what a leader is supposed to do. Uh, Modi campaigns in North and South and East and West, right? As if you want to be a national and leader... I think okay, one, so what we are not right. Right. So one, liner, one liner I would say, he lost a meeting because he went to Why not? Yeah, well, well, what I was told is that they saw the polls in uh, Amethi suggesting a very tough fight, possibly losing. They looked for a safe seat in the South and picked Why not? So it was almost like an, uh, a pro uh, some kind of security which Rahul Gandhi was offered. That no, but imagine if he's your main batsman and he's looking for a safe position. Which is, which is my point. You yes, see, my, this is it. precisely my point, Rahul, right. that I would have... Yes. If you wanted to choose South, choose Karnataka, for example. Yeah. A state... Where did Indira Bilani. Gandhi go? Indira Gandhi went to no, but what would be a, went to Meda. What is the so safe seat for Karnataka, uh, Congress in Karnataka? No, Mr. No, Mr. No, no, safe seat. I, am, I have no doubt that there could be potentially safe seats, okay. including potentially Chik Maglur. But so look, at, look yeah. at the projected vote share and seat share of the South, because Rahul, I think it shows the exact opposite of the North. The vote share in the South, as per the Mood of the Nation poll, NDA 23%. India 41%, others 36 How does it add up in seats? NDA 27 That's just a small dip from last time. Remember, BJP got 29 out of 130. India 76 Slight up because of Telangana, others 29. But basically, you, are, you really have two Indias politically. You have the BJP dominant in North India and you have India Alliance doing very well in South India. So, whether we like it or not, there is a South North political divide in this country. What that, uh, what implication that will have with delimitation is going to be a big no, question a couple of years from now. Far. Couple at of this, years from now. At this moment, we are focusing on what is the mood of the nation and who's likely to win if elections were held today.